Those commercial breaks, they'll get you every time. So uh, we were talking about vaccines. Joining us once again, our bipartisan panel, Robin Byro and Melissa Armo. So we were coming just seconds. I'm so good at doing that. So Robin, I want to give you ample time. And of course, Melissa, I want to give you time to respond. But you were trying to explain the vaccines. We were showing that undercover video from, Pre from Project Veritas. And you were there. That commercial was also coming up. Uh, but I want to give you time to respond to that. So we were talking about Dr. Anthony Fauci. We were talking about the undercover video. Where do you stand on this? Because I'm still, and a lot of people are shaking their heads. Uh, as you were talking, uh, one of our producers is saying, uh, you know, I, I still don't understand if your antibodies are your best defense against the virus, why are we not putting that information out there. Why isn't that being more widespread instead of a vaccine that frankly, what do we know? The science says more than 95% 95, 95 of people are going to survive if they sure. get COVID? I can answer that. Uh, if Go you, for it. If the, the, if the argument is that your antibodies are perfectly fine, then we wouldn't need to address COVID at all. We would just let it run rampant and we would have more than 700,000 people be dead right now. Uh, the CDC, you can go on cdc.gov right now and it says that if you get vaccinated, your chance of getting a severe illness is a lot less. You may still get the Delta variant, but your chances of getting a severe illness and possibly death, as it says right here, are significantly less if you get one of these vaccines. I'm just advocating for people. I mean, certainly if you're immunocompromised uh, and should not get vaccinated, please talk to your doctor but, or listen to your doctor. But what if um, you already, I, I want to clarify, but what if you already had COVID and you have those antibodies, which I believe are good for about a year, according to the latest report that I've read, if sure. that is better defense than getting the vaccine, why would you then go ahead and get the vaccine? I don't want everyone to get COVID. That, that is herd immunity. That is our, making the case that everyone should just go ahead and get COVID right now uh, so that they're naturally No, but I'm saying if you already have it, let's weeks. say you already had COVID and, and you have those antibodies. There are tests that you can take that say you have the antibodies and science is saying that's your best defense Shouldn't that be better that you stick with that than going ahead and getting the vaccine? Melissa, help me out here because I want you to be able to chime in. Am, am yeah. I making sense? Maybe not. I'm not a doctor. Well, I'm going to go back to the 1700s. In the 1700s, smallpox killed millions of people. And at that time, they didn't have a vaccine. Okay, so they used, people used to actually inoculate themselves. Now, what does that mean? They actually took little pieces of the pox and they used to stick it up their nose or in their mouth and they'd give themselves a virus hoping that they would have it, get sick, get over it, and then be inoculated from ever getting it in a terrible way where they would die. That's what people did way back in the day. The U.S. Surgeon General brought this up just this week. I think it was an AB, on an ABC interview where he, 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 he talked about inoculation as if that was the same thing as having vaccine mandates. It is not. It is not. If you get the virus, you have antibodies. And I think actually if they last in your blood, in your immune system, way longer than a year. We don't know now because this has only been going on for 18, 19 months. As far as what Robin was saying about what we should have done and how many people were going to die. I remember in March of 2020, Fauci and President Trump at the time stood on TV and said, if we don't shut down for 15 days, if we don't shut down for 30 days, then a million people could die. Guess what? We're almost there. We're almost there. A million people are probably going to die within the uh, total from the beginning at some point. Could be the end of the year, could be into 2022 from this. So in the end, what was the point of shutting down the economy? What was the point of shutting down? We never focused on things at the beginning to help prevent people from getting this in the first place. I think we should have done that. They're still not wanting to do that. Why? Because the pharmaceutical companies are making billions of dollars selling the vaccine. As far as that video, I do have to agree with Robin. I really wanted, if those are the scientists behind this vaccine, God help us all. But I mean, they were no. out you know, drinking alcohol and talking, but I mean, I hope that's not the best of the best and the cream of the crop that flies with their <laughs> we are going to have to leave it there. Hope I gave you both ample time to respond yes. to all of those questions. Thank you very much for sticking around, Robin Byron, Melissa Armo. What do you think? You heard what our panel had to say. More importantly, we want to hear what you have to say. You can always let us know by finding me at Real Miranda Khan. Hashtag share your voice. We'll be right back. <laughs>